So I'm going to save this as step 5. Okay, now what happens? Well, let's clean up some of these forms and make them all soft and it would be easier what? To have, yes, lower topology. So I can do that. I could take each one of these and remesh them is exactly what I'm going to be doing. So to remesh something, you must hide all the other tools. This one, I want to remesh. So I'll remesh it. And last time I remeshed it with a uh, 56. That worked out really well. I think I'm going to try 50 this time. And it's going to give me 48. Oh. Well. Okay. So there's my remesh. And let's look at the polygon structure. Now the groups are going to look a little odd. I'll give you a pattern, so don't worry about that. That it happens, I'll show you how to fix it. So that's a good layout for the first half. And then let's do this one down here. Again, hide all others. I'm going to do the same thing. So it's going to give me 48. And it's going to give me a bottom jaw. Okay, sweet. So now I have two forms and two very high forms. Um, the name of the game now is to get rid of stuff that you're not using because it gets really confusing. So I'm getting rid of all the high res forms in here. And I got these two mushy forms. Okay. And I also got this form. This form, I don't know if I'm going to be using it anymore. Um, in fact, I know I'm not, so I'm going to get rid of it. It was just to make a really nice silhouette so I can cut the two forms apart and produce a skull. So a little bit of trickery. It's kind of like using uh, lost wax casting <laughs> in, the, in a reverse sense. Uh, if you've ever taken casted an item before. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is just smooth out these forms now, smooth them out, get rid of these bumps, and get them ready to start uh, throwing them down as far as matching them up with uh, my back thing. So. And these should be a little bit more symmetrical, so try to keep them that way, try to keep symmetry on as much as you can. Good. And then we're going to set it up right off the bat with taking these and turn them into transparencies. Got that one is a transparency. And I got this one as a transparency. And then I should be able to see my image planes in the background depending upon what one is active. So in this case, only one thing can be transparent at a time. And now I have this. This is step six. Please meet me in the next video.